right? So now we're going to be making this render right here. So this is basically the one which is edited. And the one which came out of Unreal Engine is this one right here. So you can see there's a there's quite quite a big difference. And we are going to be editing it. So don't worry about that. So firstly, let's just open up Unreal Engine, I'm just going to be uh, opening a, a project which I already have created, uh, because I do have assets imported into that already. However, you can just simply go to games and create a blank project. Just be sure to turn ray tracing on if you have an RTX graphic card. Um, and make sure to set this quality preset to maximum and blueprint is fine. Just name it whatever you want and then just create it. But I'm just gonna be opening this project right here. So yeah. And so let's just wait for Unreal Engine to open. And the reason why I like to use one project for basically one project for most of my renders is because um, I already do have a lot of these assets imported. And so I don't have to import them every time, right? So I think it saves a lot of time and it's just generally good. Um, so I'm just going to go to file, new level, and we can just create a brand new empty level. Uh, in order to save this, just press control S and just name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to be naming this something like uh, subway underscore SS. Just press control S and press save all to save all assets. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm firstly going to go to landscape mode and I'm just going to be creating a landscape, just a basic landscape. We're not going to be sculpting this or anything like that. We're just going to, we just need some basic um, geometry to work with, right? So now I'm just going to go to window, environment light mixer, and just click all these buttons right here to create like a basic lighting setup. And you're going to see we have a basic light set, lighting setup right here. One thing which I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be going to the skylight and I'm just going to, go down to real time capture and I'm going to turn this on. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because, for example, if I create a cube, you can see that the shadow of this cube is going to be very um, dark. It's in fact, pitch black, right? And we can't really, uh, and it doesn't really look good. So now what I'm going to do is that if I just go ahead and turn on real time capture, I want you to look right here. You're going to see that this becomes a lot more realistic, right? So that's something which we have to do. Perfect. I'm just going to get rid of this, this cube. And yeah, we have a basic lighting setup now, and now we can start, uh, we can go ahead and start to sort of build out the basic structure of our um, scene. So first, firstly, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to be, let me scale that up. Yeah, so you can see basically one thing is that we basically have a floor right here, and then we have the train right here, and the wall and the ceiling, right? So it's pretty simple. The whole setup is pretty simple, and I'm just going to be starting with a cube. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to shapes, make a cube bring it right here and maybe move it down something like that and the reason why i added this um landscape is because so that we're going to have the train right here and this is going to be sort of our platform which is slightly um bigger in size and so i'm just going to be adding a human for reference uh so that we basically know so that we basically know the scale with that we're working with so what you can do is you can simply just go ahead if you have started content by the way you can just search for the mannequin but I, I don't think I have that. So I'm just going to be importing a character from Mixamo, which I downloaded. I'm, go I'm going to be showing you how to download characters from Mixamo later on. But for now, just know that I'm going to be showing you how to do this, how to import this character later on. We're not going to be doing that right now. Anyway, so I'm just going to be scaling it up, something like that. And the reason why I'm scaling it uniformly is so that we preserve the texture scaling. So for example, if I just go, just go ahead and add a texture, uh, let's say from Megascans. Now, obviously, you won't have these textures right now, so don't worry about that. Uh, this is just to show you an example. Uh, you don't have to follow along with this. Okay, so for example, if I just apply this texture to this, right? Right now it looks fine, but if I scale it up, you're gonna see that the texture is gonna become stretched. So for example, if I scale it up like this, then when we apply the texture, it's gonna be all stretched. So that's not something which I want. So that's why I am basically trying to scale it up uniformly so that later on when we apply a texture to this, it looks good. I'm just gonna go here in my cube details and I'm just gonna be getting rid of this texture. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be scaling this up, something like that. I think that should be good. Yeah. And now how exactly do we make this longer? It's pretty simple. We just go ahead and turn on this snapping for all of them. And then we can just go ahead and move them and duplicate them. Just press Alt on your keyboard and then just move it so that it basically gets duplicated. Perfect. That's two. I'm just going to do four for now and then we can add more um, more duplications later on. Perfect. So there's that. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be starting to work on the wall. And so, so the wall is going to be pretty simple as well. I'm simply going to be selecting all these, press alt and just duplicate them like that. And then we can move them, move them and then rotate them something like that. 
move them closer like this and then move them up something like that and so now if i just place my camera here you can see that it looks pretty similar so we have the wall we have the floor and now obviously we do need the ceiling so for the ceiling i'm simply going to be duplicating this once again and it's pretty simple um yeah just bring it up like that and so since we have snapping turned on it's pretty simple for us to do everything and that's a really good thing to have right so yeah now we're basically done with this now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be continuing the ceiling to the right because obviously we do have this whole area covered right i'm just going to be selecting all of my ceiling assets make sure all of them are selected and then just move it across something like that and that's perfect i think that should be enough or maybe not so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be uh selecting these right here and then duplicating them like that and so here is going to be our train and everything else is fine right so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be getting rid of this direction light um and actually let me just get rid of the whole lighting setup for now uh because we want this to be unlit right now for example uh, so i'm just going to go into my unlit mode so that we can see what we're working with properly and we don't have any sort of um uh any interference from the lighting setup right we might add it later on if we feel like it but for now i think this is good right so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to be let's add the train for now so what i'm going to do for that actually you know what let me just first work on uh adding the textures then we're going to be adding the lighting and lastly we're going to be adding the train Okay, so that's perfect. So for the textures, what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to go to add, add pixel content, and then we can just add textures in here. So I'm just going to wait for that to open. All right, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to home, and then I'm going to go to down to surfaces. And from here, we can go down, just a second, you can go down to something like uh, tile. We basically need tiles, right? So I'm just going to be searching for, I'm just going to be looking for good tiles. You can maybe use this one. So so with the so with the textures it's basically mostly just trial and error so i would recommend you to basically just try out different things try out different textures materials and then just see what looks the best and so i think the one which i used was um i think it was this one floor tiles yeah it was this one right here so i'm just going to be adding that and once you have that added in your scene uh what you can do is you can simply just drag it on right like that and you're going to see that it looks pretty good um, also, by the way, if, for example, by pressing add once, it doesn't show up right here, you can you, you have to press it twice and then it's going to browse over to that um, texture as well. So that's a quick tip for you guys. And I'm just going to be applying these this floor texture to all these. Now you're going to see the problem with this is the fact that it's way too large. The size of this texture is way too large. So I'm just going to be opening this material by double clicking it right here. And I'm just going to be clicking this uh, thing right here, which says styling slash offset. And so I'm just going to be setting the offset to something like two and Y to two as well. So basically the higher this number is, the more times your texture is going to be tiled. And so that basically means that it's going to become large, it's going to become smaller, the higher this number is, right? So it's sort of like inversely proportional. Anyway, so with that done, we can just go ahead and close this out, press save all to save all these assets. And now we can go back to, uh, go back to this Quixel bridge. And now we can just search for a wall texture. So the wall, so for the wall, which what I used was basically, um, yeah. So basically, for the, for the wall, what I did was I did not use any texture. I used separate assets for the wall. So I'm just going to be showing you what I did in just a second. So I'm just going to go to collections, environment, and then I'm just going to go down to something like urban. And with this, you can just basically find a lot of these walls, like this. Um, and so I think the one which I used was. So I think the one which I used was, I'm just going to go to my local collection so that I can see which one exactly was it that I downloaded. Um, I think it should be up. Yeah, yeah, so it was this one, I think. Modular building base wall kit. I think it was this one, so just add that. Um, and I'm just going to be dragging it right there. And then we can just simply go ahead and rotate it. 180 degrees. Something like that, and obviously I'm gonna scale it up, um, so that it fills, so that it basically fits the whole wall. And so I'm just gonna be scaling it something like that, and then I'm gonna be moving it down as well, something like that, and I'm just gonna be scaling it down a tad bit. I'm just gonna turn off the snapping so that I have more freedom 
without scaling it. Something like that should be good. Yeah, that seems to be good. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be moving it like that. And then I'm going to be duplicating it and continuing it. Select both of them and duplicate them like that. Perfect. Right, so our wall is looking good as well. Now let's move on to the next step, which is going to be the ceiling. So I'm just going to be, uh, yeah, I think for the ceiling, I I just um, downloaded a material, which was something like, uh, I'm just going to go to surfaces. I think it was asphalt, not asphalt. Um, I think it was concrete, yeah. So you can essentially just choose any uh, concrete texture and it should look fine. Uh, I'm trying to look for something which I have already downloaded. So I'm just going to go to my local um i think it was give me a second right so the one which i used was this one a worn painted wall and now i already do have this downloaded so i'm just going to be applying this and now you're going to have to apply this individually to all the assets and once that is done you're going to see that the wall uh the ceiling looks pretty good as well i think we have one left yeah, I think that's fine. Anyway, do we have a gap in there? Yeah, we have a gap in here. So I'm just going to be filling that up. And I think we should be good to go. Perfect. Right, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be importing um, the train. So for the train, I'm just going to go to the internet. And I'm just going to search for train 3D model. And then you can just choose any one, uh, any one of these models which you want. Let me just go to Sketchfab. Sketchfab is usually probably the best website. When it comes to 3d models i think the one which i used was right so i can't really find the one which i downloaded previously so i'm just going to be choosing any one um just a random one i think something like this should be good yeah i think this is better than the one which we previously had yes yeah, so you can just basically yeah i think the one which i used previously was this one right here yeah it was this one and i think however this model is better than that so Right, so I think this model looks pretty good, and let's download it. Right, so the problem with this model is the fact that um, this model is only available in DAE and USDZ format. These other formats are not relevant to us. Uh, however, Blender can open DAE file. I'm not sure if Unreal Engine can. Uh, so I'm just going to be downloading the DAE file. And if, for example, Unreal Engine cannot open it, then what we're going to be doing is that we're firstly going to be importing it into Blender, and then we're going to be exporting it as an FBX file. 